Hey everyone, so my name is Javi. I'm a medical student here in Texas and I made this notion to see if this would be helpful for anyone. So kind of on the whim recording here, just kind of want to walk you all through it, see what you think, show you what I thought about why while making it, why I made it, and hopefully this, this is something you're interested in and there's something that can be helpful for you. So let's get into it. So right here, you'll see the homepage. I, I kind of try to make it a little inspiration, like don't stop, just keep going. Um, you know, kind of just aesthetically, I think it's, I think it's pretty appealing, you know, a little... We'll walk through things as they go. Oh, who's that? Oh, that's me. We'll talk about that in a bit. But yeah, kind of here, you'll find a table of contents. It'll take you to the motivation focus organization area, which is where we're at. Master calendar, if you scroll up about the creator, me, I'm not going to read all this, but if you want to know more about, about me when you get this, well, it's right here for you. Let's walk into it. So right here, kind of, this is kind of our main focal area. When we open up, you can see there's a Pomodoro timer right here, which you can uh, adjust as you want. You can adjust the background, adjust the time, short break, long break, kind of go from there. Uh, since this is step oriented for the people who know what I'm talking about, remember your rule is a learning tool, not an assessment. Just something that I feel like we all need to remind ourselves as we go. And then right here, there's some quotes that you can kind of, you know, quote of the day, refresh it and get a little more inspiration. That's not as funny or sorry, not as joking as I like to be. Um, and then this video, I'm not gonna play it, but like, if you know what the video is, you know what the video it is. I just think it's the most inspirational video in the world. And then right here we have a step one countdown. So there's a link for you to change the date and kind of instructs you how to do that. But yeah, this is just way you can, you know, kind of be reminded like, you know, the day is coming <laughs> for good and bad reasons. <laughs> Hopefully more good than bad. And you know, kind of these, you'll see these yellow boxes, these yellow call outs, they kind of comment what uh, the purpose of each section is that you can delete as you need to. Um, but that's why I'm making this video to also help you. Um, so what else, what else, what else? Okay, so kind of today's task. So there's nothing on here right now. I'll kind of give an example about that later, but on today's task is what it sounds like, today's task. So the idea is that you will take this notion and uh, schedule weekly on Sundays, right? That's the plan. And then that way, you know exactly what you're gonna do. Let's say on a Wednesday, you wake up Wednesday, ba bam you know exactly what to do today. You don't have to think about it. There's even a way to see if it's your first pass, second pass, and third pass. Um, and you can see there's a few like other categories based off of the videos or resource that you're using. Um, kind of before we talk more about that, right here we have kind of a breakdown. This is what I, um, right here on the bottom right side, this is what I did, um, kind of my own breakdown. And it's just a way to kind of keep you accountable as you go to fill up the boxes. And sometimes, uh, block three wouldn't always happen, just depending on how much I hated myself. <laughs> and, um, you know, just kind of go from there. And what else? And then here we have, this is where really the meat of it is here on the bottom left corner. Here we have a study plan where we'll go into a bit, we'll go into it a bit on how to study, how to break down our studying. A master breakdown of all the videos that I've, and when I mean videos, I mean just like video names, not the actual video uploads. Uh, and then then broken down into resources. I use kind of the higher yield, most commonly used one, Sketchy, Path on my boards, and I personally use Physio as well. So that's kind of the idea here, as well as an Anki uh, page right here as well. And on the master calendar, you can see I have a few things that are kind of clicked on here. The master calendar will, as it sounds, as it implies, show everything that you have scheduled. So if you want kind of a big view, a macro view of everything that's going on, and we'll kind of schedule things as we go. We see this part, master view, do not delete. This is kind of where everything is being pulled from. You have a full view, pathoma view, sketch view, all that jazz. Don't delete that. Uh, you will ruin it all for yourself if you delete that. So don't delete it. <laughs> um, and then kind of, oh, sorry, there's a fly. Mm. Okay, so if you hear that buzzing, that's a fly and I just wanna get that out of the way. So, uh, hold on. Fuck, anyway. Um, you heard that, I might or may not delete that. But anyway, so continuing on, so let's kind of go, so let's say we have to plan it. So if I have to plan my study schedule, here's what I would do, I would go to the study plan. And then here you can see a study, so weekly theme organizer and a little thing, when in doubt, remember, you just need to pass. So the way I thought about step studying was really, um, you know, it, it, the, way I thought about, the way I thought about step studying when it really started working for me was making sure that I was hitting a different uh, topic every day. I don't have to go back to the MCAT, but that's what I did for the MCAT and it worked really well for me and I should have done this a little earlier for step, but that's kind of the idea. So like, let's say on, um, let's say on cardio, or I mean on Mondays, let's say on Mondays, I want to do cardio. I can do cardio and I'm like, I want to do physiology, uh, oh, sorry, I want to do cardio pathology from physio. I can do that. What about on Tuesday? Well, I can choose from here. I want to do endocrine kind of from just on Anki thing of endocrine or physio, we'll do physio. And I'm thinking path as well from endocrine systems. Um, 
and kind of the same idea. Or let's say on Wednesday, I want to do just all random U World blocks and review them and go from there. We'll just do random U World, or if it's going to be a specific Anki day or stuff like that, I can put Anki. So this way, uh, I know I know what I what to expect and what my goals are for that specific day. And then here I have kind of a little notes like, what do you want to get done? So like for example, uh, I want to do what uh, myocarditis, myocarditis. I'm not going to spell it right. Endocarditis, etc. Um, that's kind of my plan and you know, I can fill this up as extensive as I want and then I can put what did you get done? I got most of it done, but But took a nap lol didn't finish Will move the rest to next week So you kind of get the idea there this way You can kind of keep track of what you were able what you wanted to get done and what you were able to get done And then that will help you schedule the following week <clears throat> And as I said, there's little um and as I said, there's little boxes around to kind of prompt you as to what the purpose of each thing is. Um, before we move on, you know, kind of as I, ha as I had on the previous page, on the previous page there is a uh, today's tasks. If you go to the study plan, you can see tomorrow's tasks. Right now I don't have anything scheduled. And you can also see past tasks, things that you maybe weren't able to get done. You can see that them accumulate here and that way you can reschedule them and kind of keep track of them. So how do we schedule things? So we can do it two ways. You can go to master's breakdown, right? And master's breakdown, you know, here's a little navigation box that you'll see almost in every page. Here we have a full breakdown and it's gonna take a bit to load because it has everything. We can organize it by, uh, we can organize it by resource. And then based off of that, we can do top topic and kind of a little tricky here. If you're not familiar with Notion, that's why I wouldn't really recommend using the full breakdown, but I have this in case you wanted a macro view. Kind of what I would recommend instead is using these uh, individual views that I created here. So for example, let's go to the sketchy view. So on the sketchy view, it's the same, it's you know kind of intuitive. I have it broken down by micro, biochem, and farm. I didn't put in everything just because I personally don't like sketchy path and I was not gonna go through those. I'm um, so sorry, uh, but I feel like these are the higher yield ones, the most commonly used ones. And then right here, which you'll see in the other resource pages, is kind of a way to see if you did a first, what needs a first pass, which would be everything when you start off, what needs a second pass, and what needs a third pass. So that way you can see like, okay, I've already seen this video th three times. Obviously the problem is not that I haven't watched it, it's just that I haven't memorized it, which was my problem several instances. <laughs> um, so, you know, I'm not gonna walk through the whole thing, but to give you an, of an idea, you know, let's go to Sketchy Micro. So you can see here I have subsections, bacteria, fungi, parasites, viruses. So let's say bacteria, you know, let's say I'm like, okay, cool, I wanna do all the strept um, and all the clostridiums today. Or to, well, let's say I did, let's say I did the strep today. So we'll just go, uh, I can schedule it, go here, ba bam today is scheduled here. And then I can pull it or I can go in individually um, and choose the date. I can choose this little dot here and pull them down and then it has them scheduled there. And let's say I wanna do the clostridiums tomorrow. Okay, cool. So I'll do on the 8th and then some idea. Ba bam, ba bam, ba bam, and we're good to go. Okay, cool, what does that mean? So if you go back home, which you can go back home up here or you can just go step prep home right there. Now you can see, oh, hey, look at that. On today's tasks view, I have all the stuff that I need. And for example, if this was like something that I've already seen a first time or a second time, I can already be like, okay, cool. Like I don't need to really go super hard on this one. Or it's like, dang it, I'm on my third pass and I still don't fucking get this. <laughs> um, we, well, we shall see. Um, but that, that's kind of the general idea there. And then if we go back to study plan, you can see kind of on tomorrow's task view, it pops up as well right there, ready to go. And then the cooler part, or one of the cool parts is, again, okay, we go home, we can go into the master calendar and you can see everything that's there with the resource that we're using and how many passes and go from there. And then this, and it's a similar idea. We have Pathoma, we have, you know, generally the same thing, Pathoma, all the chapters, we can choose one, but bam, they're ready to go. You can schedule, go from there. Uh, similar thing, we can go boards. Same idea, they have them all there. I try to be a little cute with the um, uh, icons. Same idea, uh, let's see a little. And then here on the right, we have the breakdown still. So let's go into physio. Same idea, ba bam, ba bam, ba bam, ba bam. And then we have this Anki one. So if you're like, what is Anki? Uh, I can make a separate video on that if you want, but really right here, what I'm trying to show is these are the kind of the links you'd wanna use. So here's the Anki deck 
link um, from there, figure it out on your own. <laughs> oh, but for that way, you don't have to go searching for it. And then the high, the first hit high yield Anki deck, I think is as it, as it, as it says, is very high yield. Um, I have kind of my own recommendation on there. This I use a lot the last few weeks of my studying just to get those topics and definitely got me some questions right. So that's why I added that. And then, and I really think, I think that's the biggest, that's most of it really. I don't really know what I'm missing, but kind of to cut it off there, you know, if y'all are interested in this, you know, I'm just, I'm just giving you an overview. Like you can see how useful this could be. Scheduling it, you wake up, you know exactly what resources you're using, how often you use it, when you're going to use it, and blah, 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 blah. There's so many ways to learn, so many ways to go about this, and this is just one way that worked for me. I feel like this is could be a generally uh, universal way to, to use this, and you can customize this as you want and as you need to. So other than that, hope you enjoyed this. Um, click on the link in the bio to figure out how to get this, and hope you, hopefully you like it. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you all later, or talk to you later. Bye-bye.